so preseason. Obviously, that's very important for uh, guys who are coming in and trying to earn a job. It's very important for knocking the rust off and getting ready for the season. But how important is it is the preseason for the vet guys and getting ready for the season? Yeah, vet guys, is, I don't think it's as important. You know, they knocked it down from four to three games. Mm-hmm. Um, the guys get, get some plays. You know, this last game, I think the, the defensive guys played a little more, some vet guys. Um, I think everyone's a little different, too. You know, um, some guys probably want to do a little more, some don't. Sure. Um, I think it's really important for young guys, you know, and that's why people want to get rid of the preseason so much. And, and I agree, you could cut, they did cut it down from four to three. But I think what, what you can do, too, is it's an opportunity for that kind of bubble guy, the guy that might make it, hmm. might not. He gets a chance to go out and show that he's, you know, either really good or really bad, but he gets right. a chance. And I think that's important for, for some of these guys. And so, um, you know, so, so in that sense, I think it's good. Right. Uh, you know, of course, when someone gets hurt, everyone's like, oh, the preseason's awful. Why mm-hmm. you have it? But 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 I just think if you got rid of it, you would there'd be a you know, handful of guys almost on each team, maybe a few guys on each team that wouldn't get that opportunity right. um, to show what they can do. You, you can do so much in practice, but guy, the coaches want to see it live action, mm-hmm. you know, and um, they're still reviewing this. It might be down. He might be short, by the way. But um you know, so it, it is important to, for some guys to have that. I think rookie, like like for us, Kenny Pickett, right? Yeah. He he got drafted first round out of out of Pitt, and um, I th- I thought he's had a great preseason. I thought he's played really well. Yeah. Um, and, and I think it's 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 for guys like him, especially that that'd be good. Like, in my opinion, I think Mitchell Trubisky is the starter. Hmm. I mean, he should start. I think he's a veteran. He's been around for a while. Um, he gives you, in my opinion, the best chance to win right now. Sure. But I think Mitch um, um, Kenny has done a great job. I mean, you you watch him, you wouldn't. From what I've seen in the preseason, you wouldn't be like, "Oh man, he's a rookie. He's got like he's got some learning curves." Right. He's going to because when the regular season picks up, you know, it gets faster. But I think he's done a great job. Yeah. I, I think though it would benefit him. And I, I said I would say it's about almost all rookie quarterbacks. It would bene- it benefits you to sit behind a veteran for a little bit of time. And I sure. think I think Mitch is a is a, a great leader, a great football player, he's a great athlete, he's a good quarterback. He's the guy that they brought him in here for a reason. Mm-hmm. And I think he's going to mentor um Kenny, and I think he'll really help Kenny a lot. Right. But in my opinion, it's um it, it should be Mitch's job for for you know, the time being. And and if 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 Mitch plays well, keep him keep him in there, yeah. you know, and, and even if even if Mitch has a a, a bad game or something, it doesn't mean just yank him like you know, people were going to, and people are so excited for Kenny, which they should be. I mean, he's a pit kid, right? You know, played at pit, and so the they're super excited for him. But I just don't. I, I just hope the fans don't like the first time that Mitch, you know, doesn't play well. They don't start like booing or yank him or do something like yeah. that because, listen, it's going to happen. Give the give the guy a chance to keep going and whatever. That's a touchdown. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. But I I, I do, in my opinion, feel that it, it's Mitch's job. He hasn't done anything to lose the job. Mm. He's played well enough as well to, to keep, you know, as the starter. But ultimately, it's going to be Coach T's decision. Right. And I think the other the hard thing that people don't think about is that it's really hard to go back and forth. If you put Kenny in there and he starts to struggle and then you put Mitch in, you can't really go back to Kenny. Like, sure. To go back and forth like that is really hard. Yeah. You want to keep one guy in there as long as you can and and, and just go from there. So uh, we'll see, but but I think Kenny's had a great, and I've heard some great things about practices, training camp, things like that. So I think, um, you know, I think he's really coming along fast. Did you have that expectation for him coming into uh, the league? I know you guys are what on what, half different sides of the building, right? So yeah. were you able to? You know, he had a great senior year um, at, at Pitt. He is a little bit older. I think that helps. I think he's twenty four. Okay. So he's you know he's most guys come in the league at twenty one or you know something like that, twenty two. So he's a little bit older, so he's got some more maturity. But I, I, I didn't, you know, I got to see him a lot on TV, and you knew a lot about him. Um, and I thought he played unbelievable last year. He, he's the reason that Pitt finished so well, in right. my opinion. I mean, it's a team sport, but you know, your the quarterback's important. I thought he played well, and um, you know, when when they took him, I think the expectation was for him to, I think, was to learn behind Mitch, to mm-hmm. to, to sit to come in behind Mitch and to learn the systems and learn what it is to to play in this league and. Um, I don't think they want him to come in and start right away, but I, I guess I could be wrong. I guess we'll right. see what Mike decides. So it seems like it's all, you know, all indications still going to, to Mitch. Sure. Uh, what is that? What is that pressure for a young quarterback coming in? Like, how how crucial is that that year or 
two years to sit behind somebody. I mean, obviously you, you coming in as a young buck and, and after Tommy Maddox goes down, yeah. right? You have that, this, this phenomenal run as a rookie. And now there's this expectation. I feel like a lot of ways because of what Kenny did in college, he's, he's under a similar level of pressure. Do you think that is going to fuel the competitive spirit in him? Or do you think that's something that could potentially be detrimental? No, I think it'd be good. I, I think, you know, he, it's going to, it reminds me a lot of, uh, you know, in a way of when I came in, like I right. said, the Steelers have an unbelievable defense. I mean, from, from guys up front, um, Tyson and KM to the edge rushers and Alex and, 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 um, uh, TJ, the, the linebackers. I mean, they've got Minka in the second, one of the best yeah. safeties in the game. I mean, the, the defense is really, really good. Same thing when I came in. When I came in, the defense was really good. Now, we had a lot of vet- – the only difference is we had a lot of veteran guys on offense. Veteran line, sure. Jerome Bettis, veteran receivers. I was really the one young piece that was in there. That's a little different now because there is such a young um, offense, like very young offense. And so it's going to be it's going to be tricky, I think. Mm. But it benefits the quarterback to have a really good defense because you don't have to try and do too much. Sure. Um, but he's going to have to, you know, we're talking Mitch right now. He's going to have to play well. Uh, and, and hopefully it's not Kenny because if Kenny's coming in, then that means Mitch is struggling and doing something wrong. I love Mitch and hope he doesn't. But, right. You know, I came in. I was the, the kind of the three and maybe fourth guy. We had Tommy Maddox, Charlie Batch, Brian St. Pierre, and myself. Hmm. All guys that were here before I got here. And, you know, Brian and I were kind of battling for that three spot. Uh, Charlie got hurt early in camp. So all of a sudden now I'm like, the kind of two. Wait, so that's, two. that's that's how that happened. Charlie got hurt in camp. Oh wow! And, I didn't know and that. So it was kind of like okay, now all of a sudden you kind of get elevated up. And Charlie was a, a veteran guy. I mean, he was. I guess he was not a veteran at the time, but he had been around the league, played in Detroit for a while, high draft pick, yeah. played really well. So he's a guy that you that they trust in stuff. And then he gets hurt, and it's like all of a sudden it's just me back there, and you don't expect the starter ever get hurt. Mm-hmm. Um, but then all of a sudden he, you know, Tommy gets hurt in the in the second game. And it's like, holy cow, like all of a sudden the young guy's got, I have to go in. Right. And so I hope that doesn't happen to Kenny because I don't want Mitch to get hurt right. or like that. But, um, yeah, for me it was it was very unique and, and almost scary because it was like, don't screw this up. Right. You got a great defense. You got a veteran group of guys on offense. Like I'm the young guy just – Right. And I was running around like a chick with my head cut off sometimes just like extending plays just trying, trying to make to things happen. Alive. But, um you know, it, it is. It's. It's. You put almost. I put so much pressure on myself, right? Because I didn't want to let the guys down. You but know? I mean, do you think though, like that level of pressure, gate, like it set the precedent for what would be, uh, in my opinion, a Hall of Fame career? Like, if you didn't come into the league, if you had options, like if you came into the league and you had options, you're like, you know what? I don't have to. Like every play didn't feel like it was dire because. I don't want to let these legends that are on my team down. I mean, you walked into a team with legends, yeah, dude. Like, you know what I mean? And so, it, and you, so you walked into a a uh, a lineup where it's like, hey, the only option here is greatness. Do you think that's that was important for you? Yeah, I, but at the time, I didn't. It, was, it wasn't about like, okay, I have to be great. It was like, don't screw up. Sure, there's a difference. Yeah, you know? sure. like, it was like I got to go out and be like the man. It was like don't screw up because there's guys that are counting on you. Yeah. And you know, there, there's a famous, I mean, most people are going to know that like when I came in, Alan Fanick, who was a hall of famer, he's a, a offensive lineman, a guard. Um, you know, they asked him at one point, like, are you excited about the, the rookie play? And he's like, no, why would I be, <laughs> you know? And it was like, they came to me like, what do you think? I'm like, well, I don't blame him. Yeah. And he was really close with Tommy. So I don't, yeah. I don't, you know, you don't blame him for that, but you know, it was like, okay, just don't mess it up for guys like that. Yeah. Like just find a way. I, I, you don't have to be special. Just don't be awful. Right. Um, yeah. Now there were games and things I did that I think were pretty good, but it wasn't like I was out there throwing for 500 yards a game and doing something crazy. Right. I was doing some pretty cool things and playing well, but it was more about just playing playing within what we have and not screwing it up. Sure. You know? Well, then, do you, like, so doing the comparison, do you think if it, it ends up being Kenny, either the starter or – you know, Mitch has a run and however long that leash is, it kind of gets pulled back and Kenny gets in. Do you think that that same level of pressure will, will kind of make a diamond as well with him? Well, I think so. The difference, like I said, is I think that I had a really veteran group. Kenny is sure. like that group in there. Like he might even be older than some of the like second year guys. Oh, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, it's a younger group on offense. So it's not the same kind of pressure. He's got a chance to really take that group 
kind of by the collar and be like, I'm the leader of this group, you mm. know. But to me, I and I, I'm not going to speak for him. I feel like if it was me, I'd feel more pressure because I'm in Pittsburgh where I just was, and all the fans want me. I mean, oh yeah, I've been, dude. I, I I was told by some guys in, in the preseason game, like when he came out, it was like a regular season game. Like it was so loud in there, it was crazy. <laughs> People were cheering. It was unbelievable. That's awesome. Like the pressure that he might feel from that could be way more than yeah. pressure he's going to put on himself or mm. other people are going to put on him. You know, sure. or like the teammates and stuff. Like teammates have to understand. Like, listen, he's a rookie. Like, right. There's going to be there's going to be mistakes. Right. But the fans are going to be like, they got what they saw last year at Pitt right. was a a dude that went out and like crazy balled out. Yeah. So they're going to expect that. They don't. They, it's not like oh, wait, all of a sudden you're in the NFL, you you shouldn't do that. No, it's going to be like. Who do you think? Expect who do you think would have a shorter leash? Then do you think like Mitch gets a little bit more leeway because it's like all right, we're waiting for this, you know, yeah. this local kid, or do you think if Kenny goes out and underperforms this? I don't want to say it's unrealistic, but it's extremely high expectation. But that's why you don't play Kenny if you don't have to. Sure, I get that. Yeah, you have to keep him out of that situation. Yeah, and that's why it's like okay. That's why I want people have to give Mitch some grace sometimes. Like he may not have a great game, but um, you know it might not be his fault. Maybe there's something going on with a with a you know whatever it yeah. is. You, there's going to have to be a little bit of grace because he's a veteran guy, and people are going to want to put. Kenny in like put him in right now yeah but they have to understand the probably the best thing in my opinion for Kenny would be to sit back and to, to, to learn to keep growing um for how long I don't know but just I think that would be the best for Kenny sure yeah man I'm again a- I'm just a guy sitting here at the bar <laughs> talking to you so. what do I know yeah, yeah.